The Coors name was already a well-known one in Colorado when Bill was born in 1916. His father and grandfather had made the Golden Brewery, which began operating in 1873, a flourishing business. Bill went off to Princeton for an education. The family assumed he'd return to Golden after that. But when Bill Coors finished school in the Depression years, few of his classmates found solid work, and he didn't want to rely on the accident of childbirth. I felt guilty about it. So I actually went out and got myself a job. I was a chemical engineer, and uh, chemical engineers at that point were in demand. So I, I caught on with the DuPont company very, very easily. But Bill says he didn't have the guts to tell his father, so he gave up on DuPont and came back to the brewery. However, it wasn't just to be steward of a business. Over the years, Bill Coors brought innovation and progress. He saw the need for the aluminum can. When others resisted, Coors introduced it by manufacturing it. He implemented a new method of filtration and packaging which eliminated the need to heat pasteurize the beer. And he established the now famous Coors Wellness Center for employees' use. But Coors never forgot the adversity that nearly cost his family its fortune. If you were going to establish a long-range strategic business plan for your company. He would describe that plan in one word, survival. And then you would create your strategies to enable that survival. The Coors Brewery has more than survived, it has thrived, growing from what seemed at the time like an awesome production level of a quarter million barrels of beer annually to nearly 75 times that today. And from a single product, to dozens that fill as many market niches. Yet for all the growth and success, Bill Coors disdains taking much credit. Sort of uh, almost obsessed with hero worship. And we have to have our heroes. And we tend, I think, to disregard the people that uh, make our heroes. I've had a lot of help. I've been in a uh, very, very enviable, I think, uh, position of somewhat being in the driver's seat. I sometimes feel a little bit uncomfortable uh, about uh, getting prizes <laughs> for, for myself uh, when uh, I'm, I'm just one of the team. <laughs>